in this video we shall understand how to find pointing vector from electric field intensity here is a problem for a wave traveling in air the electric field is defined by this equation at 10 megahertz we have to calculate the instantaneous pointing vector and average pointing vector solution instantaneous pointing vector is very direct it is given by the cross product of e and h so we have E and we have to define H in terms of E, then you have to perform the cross product. That's easy. So we start with E. E is 6 cos of omega t minus beta x. A cap z. This is e. On the other hand, h is given by its maximum value hm cos omega t minus beta x. And we have to find the direction of h. We can use the pointing vector itself to find the direction e is in z direction we have to find the direction of h wave is propagating in positive x direction so z is there x is there it is supposed to be y here question is it is plus or minus y so look at the order order after z after x y should come after y z after z again x and y if you follow the sequence z is there after z x should come here x but already x is here so it's going to be y so it's going to be minus y here so based on that we are going to have minus y from this equation. So AZ cross minus A is X. So now we have to find HM. This HM can be found from the relation EM by eta. Eta is the intrinsic impedance of the medium that is air here. So eta naught 377. EM is 6. This is 377. So we can write the complete equation of H. H is equal to take the minus sign to the beginning. 6 by 377. Cos of omega t is beta x a y. So now pointing vector p instantaneous is given by e cross h e is 6 cos omega t minus beta x a z cap cross product with this one is minus 6 377 cos omega t is beta x a y so cross product to be evaluated so minus 6 square 377 cos square omega t minus beta x. 
AZ cross AY is minus AX so that finally minus into minus plus it becomes so 36 by 377 we shall directly find the answer for this it's going to be 0 0.0 Nine four into cos square omega t minus beta x a cap y. So this becomes our instantaneous pointing vector, and this pointing vector is a function of time. As the time changes, p changes. So we go for average pointing vector now. For two, p average is given by many formulae. So one in complex domain that is what is generally used. Hs here es and hs are complex representations of a and h. All right. If you don't want complex domain interpretation, then you can directly go for so the direct multiplications of magnitudes of E and H, but the direction of the E should be evaluated manually. Otherwise, we can go for with this equation only considering E or only considering H. So here, the direction of the unit vector to be separately calculated, but uh, this form gives directly both magnitude and direction. And sometimes uh, peak values will not be known. We'll be knowing the RMS values. So that time what we do, we think of this formula, V RMS is VM by root two, I RMS is IM by root two. That means for a sinusoidal wave, P divided by root two will give the RMS. So based on this, this one by two can be split into one by root two, one by root two, and taken under E and H. So that time we can also think of this formula, E RMS, H RMS, A cap V will give you the average pointing vector in terms of RMS values. So now, We'll go by this method. First, we'll find ES. That is six cos omega t minus beta x can be written as a power j omega t minus beta x. Direction of E z. Now we shall also find the h in complex form. Amplitude can be taken as six by three seventy seven. the direction of H to be calculated uh, using this pointing vector equation. Direction of E is taken as Z. H is to be calculated. Direction of the wave propagation that is pointing vector is positive X. See. This is the direction of the wave propagation. This is the direction of the electric field. Now we have to find the direction of the magnetic field now. And this is going to be minus y. We keep the sequence in mind. After x, y should come. After y, z should come. After z, again x, again y, again z. Sequence continues like this. 
if the sequence of the unit vectors is in this order, all are positive, otherwise one of them should be negative. So this is fixed, this is fixed. After Z, what is expected is X. Here X should come, but already X is there, so it should be Y now. Because of this interchange, this becomes minus A cap Y. So that's why this is going to be minus A cap. So next, keeping these two equations, we directly find the average half into real part of ES cross HS conjugate. This is substitute here. ES is six into exponential term. This is X. Z component of E cross product of six divided by three seventy seven. Look at the conjugate here. So it's going to be minus J omega T minus beta Z. And as per discussion, this is going to be a cap Y minus. Finally, if six is real, take out six by three seventy seven is also real, take out. And this exponential term after multiplication, they get cancelled out. Next, Z cross minus A Y is. AX. So this is going to be half into thirty six by three seventy seven X. It is going to be zero point zero four seven seven X cap. Previously, the instantaneous one, this one by two was not there. Comparison. Along with that, cos square term will be there. See here, after taking the average, the cos term or omega t term will be vanished. That is the solution of this problem. Thank you.